for sure, for sure, we like to be the next liners, and we are developing our project going into construction in Western Australia, located in the Gascoigne region. It's called the Yanjibana project, uh, and the unique feature of the Yanjibana project is the very high neodymium and presodymium to total rare of oxides ratio, what they call the NDPR to, to a TRO ratio, and that ratio is in the forty to fifty percent range. So you raised $100 million this week to fund that expansion and that build out. Uh, run us through the, the timeline or the trajectory there for building things out. Well, we're going to start the construction in a couple of months time, the uh, second quarter of this year. It'll take about uh, 27 months, 28 months to do the uh, construction, both in terms of opening up the mine site and building the process plant. There are two stages to it, what they call the uh, beneficiation plant is the first stage and that will be constructed on site at Yanjibana. And then there is the hydrometallurgy plant, uh, otherwise uh, referred to also as the cracking leaching plant. And that's located closer to the coast, somewhere in the region of Onslow. And uh, what we'll do is that uh, bring the two plants into uh, production by the end of 2023. All right, by the end of 2023, what's going to be the capacity? And have you already started talking to potential customers who want to get in, of course, ahead of that 2023 production kickoff. Yes, um, we uh, will produce 15,000 tonnes of what we call an intermediate product, uh, namely mixed rare earth carbonate, MREC. That carbonate is uh, then sold to our customers. We have German customers like uh, Schaeffler and ThyssenKrupp, um, and they take the product, bring it to where they want to have it separated, and uh, that becomes the, uh, uh, the individual oxides. Primarily, everybody is looking for the neodymium and presodymium oxide, NDPR oxides, which goes into the permanent magnets. And permanent magnets is essentially what drives uh, the electrical motors in uh, uh, EV, electrical vehicles, and in uh, wind turbines, as well as uh, industrial robotics, digital devices, anything that you know, requires a magnet permanent magnet is the future. And hence the demand for NDPR is very strong, uh, as we can see in the uh, electric vehicle take up uh, globally speaking.